Hey everyone, today's tutorial is going to be about how to animate in GIMP. And I apologize if the audio quality is bad. Uh, the cord to my regular microphone broke, so I'm trying to replace that, so I'm using a different microphone for now. So next week it should be back to regular quality. Okay, so to animate in GIMP, each layer is basically a different frame in the animation. And each frame is about a split second. So if if we want to make an animation, we have to make um, a couple layers or more, depending on how long the animation is going to be. And each layer has to be different to animate what we want to move or to animate. So to demonstrate this, I am going to duplicate this background four times to show you what it looks like if you have white backgrounds with a different image on each. So for this tutorial, I'm just simply going to take a brush and I'm going to make a just circle in each different corner of these layers. Okay, so how do we animate this? Well, we go up to filters, down to animation, and we go to playback. And what that does is it brings up another dialog. And you can see we have a play button. And it shows us the layer that was selected when we click the animate button. So if we hit play, you can see it animates our layers. And you can see how fast each layer goes by. So if I get rid of that. So how do we get each layer to kind of stay around longer? Well, what we do is we just duplicate that layer. So there's going to be more time spent on this dot and this top one. So we're going to duplicate that. So we go up to filters, animation, playback. If I hit play, you can see it spends more time on the two right dots than it does on the left ones. And that's how you drag out a frame if you want a frame to last longer than just a second. So for animation, it's also very good to see what you're animating on so you can draw accordingly to further the animation. So if I create a new layer with a white background and you wanted to create something that added on to this dot on the background layer, we can take the opacity down of the layer above it, and then you can draw accordingly in the frame, the next frame that you want to animate, and you can bring the opacity back up, and it will help you to plan out your animation so you're not guessing where you're drawing and stuff like that. Now to export this as an animation, you want to go to File, Export As, and you can select by file type down here, and what I did is I went to the GIF, and then you hit Export, and I'm going to hit Replace, and it comes up with this, and you want to click As Animation, and then this stuff down here, um, you can change it up if you want and see what happens. I'm not really sure what these do, but um, it looks like you can change how long the frames um, last and stuff like that. But you can change that um, around and see what that does and experiment with your animation. I hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial of how to animate in GIMP. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions or requests, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching.